she's come in for a lot of criticism for this even amongst people who might normally find themselves yes. backing everything she does yeah um how is it going to help so I was, I also saw it and I was like, oh my God, that's so American. There are so many feelings. But then I was like, okay, <laughs> do you know what? No, I'm being too British and I'm reacting to this because somebody's doing something nice. And the reality is sex workers are one of the most marginalized groups in the world. And while I accept that it's not necessarily going to pay your heating bill or help you put, buy uh, shoes for your kids. Or help you get out of sex work. But, but to be fair, we shouldn't assume that everybody wants to get out of sex work. Mm -hmm. For some people, it is a choice. Whether or not you think it's a valid choice Why does giving them an autographed banana yeah. of all things and why banana I, so I exactly think, you, i mean I just seriously you give a sex worker a banana it's not a, a and you don't get is this it? is somehow a no, bit and ridiculous. Also, sex workers are people like everybody different. else they don't look at things that are phallic and start crying you're a sex worker you pick a banana it says you are great you think mm. right well that's it i'm going to stop doing this immediately mm. and go but and they become might, an MP. but they might not want it's to not stop doing sex work the idea is a banana when you work in a trade or when you work in a job that's ignored judged and stigmatized being told that you are valid and important is a nice thing there are lots of sex workers, particularly on Twitter, saying, actually, I feel like this is a really good anti-stigma thing. And we all... It is a massively stigmatised job. Yes, so yeah, and I think, I, think rather... her, I think that the Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry going to the charity was an anti-stigma thing. Yes. I absolutely, yes. totally agree. We all agree with that. that. We all agree with that. That's I think progress. That's, that's progress. progress. You'd rather the money, wouldn't yeah. you? You'd rather the cash mm. equivalent... What, for a banana? Than, like, than a bag of fruit. Well, yeah. Actually, I, no, I, I'd be going to the papers useless. and then putting it on eBay, so it'd be very useful. Well, I was going to say that's I'd be first selling the banana think. like Those that. Those bananas will be rotten within what? Five yeah, well, days? Come on, you, no, know, there are, you know there are I people think, on the internet who would just, buy a Megan banana. I think it was a great idea to put in a child's lunchbox as a nice surprise mm. and a banana that your mum's written on for some extraordinary. How anyone has time to do that before they get them off to school? I this don't is know. the one in America this which you got the idea. Exactly, which is a great idea, but I think this is not being really thought out. It does come across as patronising. It's not going to change anybody lives it's a banana when princess diana mm. hugged people who were hiv positive mm -hmm. yeah. that was a yeah. huge deal right sure. walked through and, a landmine field but and, and there were people yeah, who but there's walked, a very big but difference there are people who said the same thing yeah, but here's the the same thing. Yeah, diana used to but go a out hug is no yeah, more Rebecca, diana used to go out in the middle of the night on her own and go and meet sex workers on the street and hang out with them, right? She yeah. never publicised it. We never had bananas being autographed. But the stuff. reason... In other words, there's a way of doing these no, things. No, but there's, yes, a reason that, there's a reason that Diana <coughs> did the public hugging and handshaking yes. people with HIV, and that's because in, in back in those days, mm. touching somebody with HIV was a big deal. Mm -hmm. I think this is intended to be the same yes, thing. It's but it didn't public work. lending support it for didn't sex work. workers. Giving someone a banana is not supportive. But hugging, really, some, hugging somebody is hungry. inherently valuable. And also, hungry. giving a sex worker a banana is... <laughs> clearly <laughs> exposing them to potential mockery. I'm sorry. No, yeah. I Just think, no, I'm sorry. I think that's really unfair. Sex workers are not a special s group of people who are like a sort of untermentioned. They are normal human beings. I know. Like you are. Not them but, at but, all. but this is a charity for yeah. sex workers who are struggling. Yeah, but, who, but that's you know, why they're giving them food and a fruit it? It was it was just, just, it, That's why the charity is there. No, absolutely. But I think they're, they're If giving you've been them advising Meghan lunch. Markle before this and she said, I've got a great idea. <laughs> I'm going to give a load of sex workers who are really struggling at the moment signed bananas would you have said maybe not the bananas and, uh, i think i would have said else, i would have said do you have to make such a fuss about it's it it's me i think beautiful gesture mm. my hand only me my sharpie. Is, is it hand me thing. my sharpie yeah. my moment think, has I'm come gonna say this. to win our i'm going squatters. to speak quiet please I... mummy's talking um, <laughs> don't you think don't you think though that it's just meaningless coming from someone you don't know so patronize you, you don't are know. strong how do you know i, I might mean, be come the on. but i think on earth. but it's i think we i think we're speaking from a massive position of privilege in which we don't need to be told we're strong. Are you the we're mega markers no but come living in a palace with a prince no but the sex workers get more privilege but these sex workers are not in the same position of privilege we're all sitting here on telly getting paid for it these are people who do not have that level of privilege and some may be so being told you're strong Money. But okay. if nobody else Just, tells you you're strong. Okay, okay, so what do these sex workers need? Mm. Um, Legalisation of sex work and proper regulations. Right, is, is, that, what she's is that what she's no. promoting? Well, she's, to be fair, she's not allowed to do that because that's a political view and they're not allowed to express yeah. political views. So what views. has been achieved? They need, they need I think funding. if one woman felt slightly better about her day because Meghan Markle did that, then it's no bad Isn't thing. Isn't it fascinating what you just said? You see, there's Meghan Markle, who was a great campaigner... Yes. ...right before, and had her feminist. website, was a United Nations ambassador around yeah. the world, didn't hesitate to say what she really thought. Yeah. Daily Mail comment section already oh, well, is violent. Imagine if she started... 
to speak to you Actually, about the Daily Mail comment <laughs> section is, is very Don't nice ever. about her. Oh, and some, and some, and some people Mail. are vile about her. Mm. You get both when you're a member of the royal family. Mm. We get both on TV. Uh, it well, goes to being high profile. <laughs> no one can tell me Meghan Markle gets any worse press I'll than tell you what. I'll tell you what, no one needs to take a deep dive into the Daily Mail comment. No, ever. That would be my advice. sorry. I will defend Daily Mail readers. No, of course. They're allowed to say what they like. And they're allowed to have an opinion. Yes, a lot of, of them find her very annoying. Of course, a lot of them yeah. also say quite racist things, though, and that, that is, is not okay. That is completely unacceptable, right? They're not daily mail readers, the daily no, 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 no,